<sighs> I think that's the end of it. Look how big our freaking click circle is. At the very least, nine people doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. Dun, 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 dun. He's back again. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle. Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed it was like in some companionship washed over me or something. I don't know. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat, but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. <laughs> she fucking. Nah. She used the Laffy set voice. Agreed. <laughs> I have a feeling what we just experienced was. The biggest selling point of the Almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. She went through. Oh, wait, she just came downstairs. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys. Oh my gosh, she's like the Moira. No, she's not. Don't ever say that. <laughs> I'm gonna go help her out with the wilderness survival anyway, guide. That about finishes up today's Wasteland survival guide? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, it's a different game, so, you know. Different survival guide. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. What are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean... We get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm. That is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ordnance, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experience. So when you're in battle now. and you're ready to attack somebody, you can text so one of them, and they'll get the text, and they'll know to go in on attack with you. Mm -hmm. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. <laughs> I see. But what gives us this aptitude though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should please also drop out. Be aware that please drop out. It's expensive. Will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with class seven or not? Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. Yeah, except you would have missed the entire, like... First day. The first day, which is, like, more, really important for, like, making friends and stuff. In these situations. I'll do it. Whatever Class 7 has to throw at me, I'm game. Oh, shit. Wait, Actually, leader right here. 
Almost Just like he's the main that? character. So you're the first then? You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Mmm, a noble sentiment. But not noble blood. Ah, <sighs> uh, well. I knew she'd be second. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit after... Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board and our foreign exchange student too. Any more takers? Oh shit, the strongest freshman. Elliot. Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity. So I feel it's my duty to have... S sign me up too. Let's go. Dream team. Get like Blondie in here. here for a reason, you know? What? And so let's get Blondie in here. Oh. Staff testers. Blondies. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage. So on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me <laughs> Classic <you>. Elliot. <laughs> huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. <laughs> it does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back... <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. They have the same facial structure and hair. Sister, what do you want to bet? No. That was the deal, They're different last names. You yeah. need to take control of your Cousin. own life. Related. Uh, fine, I'm in. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <clears throat> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Issues that Machias made. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Well, he's been saving that one. That's the one he's rehearsed in the mirror. You can tell, because he's a dickhead. Unless yeah. something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusis Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Why? You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick. Oh, are I'll you about to see, uh... To tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Oh, shit. Simple but effective. I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> Drop mics. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> That said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this. No? Was... I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails oh telling God. me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies He, he like literally said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the we'll see about that. Like this guy can't see past his own blind rage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Which means eventually they will see eye to eye. The besties. And it'll be hilarious. Oh shit. Do they just have like oh. a a moment. Oh, oh, she's still like, oh, I gotta be mad. I gotta be mad. 
The pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Elliot is you. <laughs> Give a guy a break. <laughs> You are now that, the Fellowship like of the Ring. All of you on being the first ever Class Seven. I hope you keep those high spirits all here, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll, you'll need it. it. Five months later. <laughs> Shit, is the fucking big guy up here? Oh, big people. I, I had a feeling that there was like at least like a well, committee watching. Well, I wasn't expecting Class Seven to turn out quite as. Dive. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Who the fuck is this fool? But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess. No. Oh god, he's one How of those. How do you mean? And seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Oh shit, is this like the intro? I can't believe they're having two intros. It's sort of thinner in that. Probably gonna get content ID matched for that. We already got content ID matched. Somewhere. Prologue, the way to Thor's end. Save data or delete it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this game. Continue? Yeah, I'm gonna... Just see what happens next. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturday. The third dormitory. I have expected uh, Kim Pop to pop in here last second. All right. Camera and a lens. Oh. Picture. That is family. How are you going. Oh, Green. Elliot. Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor. Guys in particular is probably people? long gone by now. Uh, oh. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean, exactly? Obviously, he's got the gift or whatever. Just like Gaius. Huh. Mm. Still? Good morning. It's been two weeks. Y yeah. Good morning. Morning. Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey, don't walk into the me, light! Lisa. Oh, well, there she we'll goes. In... Off to heaven. Not you too, Emma. Emma! No! I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident. I can't believe she'd be so... Oh, she's being that way purposely because she no likes him. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. She hates well, the fact that she likes him. as long as you keep trying, or, you know, I'm sure she'll understand. Class 7's got enough tension as it is. What with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throat. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could- I'll certainly do what I can. Just, just be normal. That's all you have to be, is just be normal. Just literally act like everything's fine. And either 
She'll get more mad about that really and cause a confrontation, which will probably it's fix funny. the problem. Or she won't, and just be like, oh, be okay, whatever. Part of the curriculum. Never and then she'll cover around eventually. Side of things might yeah. run no skin on her scrot. Fuck. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. If I just hold this, they're continue to walk, what happens? Let's see. Yeah, but what if... Yeah, we're gonna miss stuff. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Maki's Oh, they stop. Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. But then, Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Maki's wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well too, as are Laura and Gaius. Really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. Though I really do hope they don't... Huh? I'm not sure... Oh, sorry. You got me thinking about Yusus and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but... And Yusus' family rules over the whole eastern side of the Empire, so it kinda feels like I should address them more... Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though, you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Yusis every chance you get. Like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hope they get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Yusis seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. <laughs> That was the way of blonde-haired people. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye-to-eye -eye at this point. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. Well, with Machias' type, you need to allow him to make the decision to be friends with Yusus. You know what I'm saying, though? Because, like, That's he's the type where if you try to force it, he's going to, like, Dormitory come back two, harder on it. For all the common folk like us. Yeah. I guess so, huh? I'm still kind of shocked that Class 7 gets to have its own dormitory. Though, to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. Seems like they renovated it just for us. Which is why it's so expensive. Well, they did a good job. That it's and all the time. a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the account. Hey, you're in our way. Oh. Oh, we're the shit. white coats. You're not in... What... There's a whole go around. Class seven, I see. You think you're so special? I, is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. <laughs> no, you just stopped <laughs> just to say that. Yes, Patrick. A word of advice: you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Hey, I got a dick. How about you suck it? You punk bitch. Ah, so they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the thank goodness Laura and Yusis aren't. <laughs> yeah. Yo, like, can I just That's like get control so I can save so we can exit? One, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside. Wow, really? Well, yeah, they wouldn't want to put them in a school and have them not, not be in uh, an Guess environment that would be. Not something that they're not used to. Yeah, sorry. They're used to being pampered all the time. You can't just take the pampering oh, away. Hey, they get all like you picked out a club fussy. Yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. Picked out a what? No, club. I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. Oh shit, a club! <laughs> Let's go. What are my club choices? Well, you got club sandwich. You got wooden club. Stand, bow, be seated. You got club foot. That one's a little weird, though. You don't want to go in on that one. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. Let's go over the same thing we've been going over. Again, Thomas Lysander. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A it was a strange time. A bunch of lions. Years, Weird. Staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. 
But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, but you just I think did. even young children would be. Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire. And would go on to make quite a name for himself. Uh, Dreykels. Is Dreykels his name? And that name, of course, was Dreykels Rice Arnor. He would later his become glasses known as look like they have a swirl the effect on. The 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance, not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykel's first began gathering his army was... Reen Schwarzer. Would you care to tell the class? How very persona of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can figure this out. It wasn't the Merchant City of Crossbell, because it's the first choice. Um, well, they haven't even mentioned it. Yeah. They haven't mentioned Nord Highlands either. I, I'm so thinking... The only one that we've heard of is... B B Berehard, but like Berehard was the city you came in on. You know, I had to fly, or we had to come super far. It's hard to say. It's like, is it is it Berehard, the city that's closest to this place, therefore making it a good place to put the academy? Some kind of meaning, or is it Nord Highlands as like the because he was on the outskirts? Let's just say Brayhard. Nope. It was the North Highlands, a region northeast of Erebonia. Like I wanted to say North Highlands, but I didn't. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I knew it. And she sits next to him and everything just so she can hate him closer. Academic points. By making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests, you will gain AP. When you've uh, accumulated enough AP, your rank will increase the next time you report a quest. There are 15 ranks ranging from B7 to A0, because fuck it, why would we ever make something less complicated than that? And every time your rank increases, you'll receive a perk from the Academy. I'm assuming it goes... B7 to B to 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 B1 and then A7 to A0. Because it's 15. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Elise's assistance, Reen received the same amount of AP that would have been granted for a correct answer. In future instances, however, AP bonuses will only be given if correct answers are given from the start. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. Now time for classes number two. The real work. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Hmm. Um, well, the she actually reminds me more of the teacher in Final Fantasy VIII. Quizzes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, I'd like to a little be bit too familiar to with the students. Area in the library myself. Of course, this or just familiar with the students. For no one. So feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should They're go over clubs, what's happening apparently. next week. Maybe the same club. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. Club guy Laura. Uh, practical exam? What does that entail? It's part of your combat training. Well, You'll a practical exam, exam is one that you, so you make sure use you're well the stuff you're learning. 
might be a good idea to do some training on your own time, too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of the... Oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. You guys are all getting I mech suits. What? <laughs> so, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count. That concludes today's homework. Like how she's like, yes, you got a free day. But like, you yes, should really not you. use that as a free day and do something all important, rise. possibly. Wait, was that Maki so saying all rise? Who knows that that's a thing in Japan? Yeah. They give like jobs to people and stuff like that. Well, they had the girl do it in the yeah. one thing. In ROTC, you do it too. It's like a way to train hierarchy or like leadership stuff. I mean, I'm still getting used to the staff. I'd be happy to help you train if you need a sparring partner. The gymnasium looks big enough that I'm sure we'd have no trouble finding a good spot for it. That's very kind of you to offer, but I was planning on attending club practice today. Oh, you joined club already? Which one did you pick? I uh, decided to try for the band. Hey, I knew it. Though I'm not sure how much use they'll have, uh, they'll have for a violinist. What are you talking about? Do violinists are sick? I didn't play violin. Did you just pick it up for fun? Yeah, something like that. So he didn't. Uh, how about you guys? Have you joined any of the school club? Yeah, I did. I joined soccer. Uh, art club. Okay, that yeah, works. He definitely looks like an arty. Look at his hair. Yeah, I got you. Art, huh? Somehow that's not what I picture for you. No pun intended. Do you have any... Uh, oh, say, well, I delve back in at home. Taught myself, though, so I feel like this could be a good chance to learn proper technique. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see some work sometime. You just kick that fucking door open? And the door's just open on that one volition in front of her. They need to get the fuck out of the way. Oh, good, you're still here. Instructor? Is there a problem? No, no, I was just hoping someone would do a teensy little favor for me. Oh, gosh, she's one of those. There's something I need picked up from the student council room. Something you need picked up? What would that be? Uh, well, that's just for me to know and you to find out. All I'll say is, it's something absolutely essential to your school life. And somebody needs to go get it, though it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? Sure, I'll go. If I show up in the student council room and tell them you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? Because I want to be part of the student council. Wait. Are you sure you don't mind? You do have clubs to go to, right? I'm still totally undecided, so this shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look in a few clubs myself along the way, in fact. Well, if you don't really mind. Thank you. The student council room is in the student union building next door, at the end of the hall on the second floor. It's open until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Heart. Uh, okay. Aww, shit. Ah, Erebonia! Don't you dare! Peace out! Oh, uh, this game's pretty fun. Yeah, I like it. Has a good mix of shit. Mm. I like the persona. Little school, school stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good, uh, I mean, as much as I think that, like, th there seems to be almost too much of a uh, focus on the whole boarding school aspect in Japanese stuff, um, it's, like, a good, like, uh, framework for building this type of thing out of. Because there's like a there's already like a built-in structure that you can just play around. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, congratulations. Uh, you don't get anything except for the chance to possibly uh, maybe come and see us live on Twitch.tv/NathanGamingTV, and maybe if you're watching us on YouTube, you can subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel, youtubecom TV. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.